Um, for the next project, as I mentioned in the classroom earlier, I we're going to make you chop your model up randomly, okay, so that you're not worried about keeping a perfect model, okay? So uh, I will also, I promise, try and show you techniques wherein you can make it look like it's a nice complete model without you know, even if it has chopped up pieces that have been put back into it. So we'll talk about model paste and uh, spackle paint and a number of different other techniques that you can use to sort of fix your model up, okay? Um, right now, what I want to do is I want to cover something that's already been covered in Design 1, Design 2, and Design 3. But I don't, um, I'm not convinced that, that, that we've got this, okay? So as I was mentioning, you guys are not going to be allowed to create a crater in your site and drop your building on it. You guys are going to be required to create terraced levels, okay? And each of the terraced levels is going to be required to be minimum, or it's going to be required to be three feet in differential one from the other. So if we look at this site, right, this site has contours that are somewhat like what you have. Um, next to it, we have a site that has three pads, okay? So these pads right here are literally three feet apart. So from here to here is three feet, and from here to here is three feet. These pads were cut in such a way that the amount of fill, right, the amount of soil that um, has been cut is pretty close to equal to the amount um, or, or, I'm sorry, the amount of cut is pretty close to equal to the amount that's been filled. This is called the balanced cut and fill, which I'm sure you guys have all heard about. So you can see in all three of these pads that there's a part that's higher than the terrain used to be, right? And there's a part that's been cut into it. Here's a part that's higher than the terrain used to be, and here's a part that's been cut into. This one, again, has a part that's higher and a part that's been cut into, okay? Um, if we look at it from above, right, you will notice uh, Natalie's not here, but I remember that Natalie distinctly made me give you guys the same lesson that I had done in the Design 3 studio because some of you hadn't taken Design 3. But you can clearly see that this elevation kind of works its way around and this one works its way forward, correct? So this pad is at this terrace level or this step topo level all right and that was kind of the lesson that i showed you guys where you take the line and you trace back and then you trace back again and it creates everyone creates a different contour line right so right now what i'm going to ask you guys to do is i'm going to give you guys some pad levels right and i'm going to ask you guys to essentially create a terraced arrangement as i have done right here okay now, before we get too far, I'm going to show you how I approach this. This is probably different than how Hero taught you guys in Design 2. Because I believe in Design 2 and in 122, this is one of the subjects that's approached. Okay? Um, in Design 1, we do this only physically on the model. I don't think that the 121 instructors go into that. But I know that Hero does. Correct? Good. Perfect. Okay. So um, today I will show you the Iggy method for doing this. Um, so without further ado, actually, you know what? I'm going to stop this video and I'll start a fresh one. Freshy. Fresh one. Let's see. Stop.